The Kumul Conference Room at Holiday Inn was filled to capacity by heads of the six universities in the country, plus heads of the 34 research institutions. Others included staff from the newly created Department of Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology. Outgoing Minister and Sohe MP Delilah Gore highlighted seven achievements during her brief stay in office. One that stands out is the ending of the two-year student crisis at the University of Technology. She was also instrumental in the new legislation that enabled the creation of the Department of Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology. It replaces the Office of Higher Education. By NEC to establish six new institutions of higher education with initial funding from the rollout of institutions in the 89 districts. Fifth achievement, completion of the new, of the National Higher and Technical Education Plan 3. Sixth achievement, revision of academic salaries and conditions of services. And seventh, completion of external quality assessment of the six universities. Minister Gore told her successor to address some immediate tasks, and that is to establish the Eastern Papua Agriculture College in Popondeta, and to continue to make ICT accessible to all higher learning institutions. That you will be accorded the same undivided support I was given during my term from the good Director General and his loyal staff, all stakeholders and service providers of higher and technical education, the six universities and the 34 recognized institutions of higher education all over Papua New Guinea. The new Minister for Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology, Malakai Tabar, said his first task is to ensure functions of both higher and lower education do not overlap. We should solely focus on early childhood education and secondary education, while the Office of Higher Education responsibility, responsibilities should focus on post-secondary education. It is high time for a line to be drawn between the two departments and this department, new department, to take on the responsibility of everybody that lives that grade 12 level. He also urged universities to start operating like businesses and not to always rely on the government. The occasion also saw the formal handover of the Science and Technology Initiative from OHE to the government's new entity, PNG Science and Technology Council Secretariat. Minister Tabar pledged to continue to bring his department forward, while Minister Gore takes up her new portfolio as the Minister for Community Development. Bridget Komatep, National MTV News.